with a good matchup between the Detroit Tigers and the Cleveland Indians. Hello again, everybody. Baseball is back. Welcome to our special opening day broadcast on MLB Network. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. The staffs for these two teams are sure to be a focal point as this series moves along. Hey, just like any team, pitching is going to be the key factor for this ball club as the year plays out. I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs, but putting together some quality outings early in the season could do wonders for this club getting out of the gate with a good start. The games count starting now. Opening day on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Shane Bieber gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. And the first pitch of the ball game is taken for a called strike one, and a new season of baseball is underway. First pitch, 111. To third, Ramirez is up with it. And one away. That is second. A designated hitter, Harold Castro. At the plate, Harold Castro. Here's the first pitch to him. Tight break with the slider there, catches the inside for a strike. Temperature about what you'd expect for this time of year 56 degrees at first pitch. Weak grounder down the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Mercado is there now, and he has it, two gone. Batting third, the first baseman, Miguel Cabrera. Now batting, Miguel Cabrera. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the pitch. Oh, that's good. Two out, nobody on. Oh, Downstairs, cool. two balls and no strikes. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Two balls and a strike to the Tigers' first baseman. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Dan, I know I was an offensive player, but I'm okay being a pitcher's umpire. If you're going to consistently pound that outer half, James Kingsley's usually going to give it to you. Hey, listen, there's a reason why the pitchers throughout the league, they call him the king of the hill. You move the ball a little bit off the strike zone, he's not afraid to put that arm up. He's a very good pitcher's umpire. We'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. Whoa, you know a pitcher is really fighting himself when he misses a zone by that much? I'm surprised the catcher could even bring that in. 
So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope, man at first after the two out walk. From the belt, the pitch. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. And it's 0-2 to scope. Down 0-2, maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. Nothing in two count and the pitch high in the air out to center field. And as it turns out the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So no runs here on no hits no errors and one man left on base. It's the Tigers nothing tribe coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Matthew Boyd is on the mound for the season opener on the road in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Strike thrower, not afraid to go in and challenge hitters. He's kind of what a manager would like to have. You know what you're going to get with Matthew Boyd. He's not afraid to throw the fastball or his breaking stuff over the plate. Sneaky, really good pitcher. Stepping in, Cesar Hernandez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Here's the pitch. Yep, that ball went out. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Hit in the air out to left field. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Striding in, Oscar Mercado, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And the pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Part of the order on deck, so keeping this two hole hitter off the bags is always important. Bases are empty, one man out. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. And he missed with that one. It's ball four, a one-out walk here in the home first. And that's the beauty of having a guy in the two hole like him. He's almost like another leadoff hitter working a walk with just one out. And I think there's a good chance that he's going to be on the move at some point. So a runner at first with one man gone. That'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop and perennial MVP candidate Francisco Lindor. 
He set and the pitch. That finds the zone a called strike. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. He broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat-mouse game continues on. Indian shortstop behind one and two in the count. Mercado leads off first with one away. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The one two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. And that'll bring in Fran Moraes. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. Reyes, once a member of the San Diego Padres organization, he was acquired via trade last year. Yeah, this guy's fully settled in with this ball club right now. Knows what the manager and coaching staff expect from him. Is not taken aback by anything. He's been through the spring training process and gotten to know everybody in this organization top to bottom. Grounder down the line at third, but this will wind up foul. Still 0 2. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And this one will bounce into the wall. Mercado blows through the stop sign, headed for home. And the run will score as the Tribe strikes first to lead it 1 0. Lachey's are around for a reason, and that hit right there is the reason they say baseball is a game of inches, right? Just barely fair, but that's not much consolation to the guy standing on the mound. Nice RBI two-bagger. Here's Carlos Santana now. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. He's set the 0 1. Now a big swing, and this ball is crushed out to deep center field. Gone! Two run shot to straightaway center. First home run of the campaign for him, and the Indians move in front now, three to nothing. Everyone is anxious to get the season started, but to start it off with a home run, there's no better way to get your campaign underway. He was rounding the bases thinking, hey, this is going to be a good year. So now to the plate, Jose Ramirez. The first base man. Three runs already home here. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. Up in the zone for him and he takes a cold strike two. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two run home run. Second inning coming up. It's three nothing in favor of the tribe.
Here's Cameron Mabin now. He'll start things out in the top half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Ball one to start the at-bat. Hit hard on the ground to the right. That's a hit. Their first of the new season. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. At the plate now, Austin Romine. Now a swing, and this ball is crushed straight away center field. Whoa, give me a break. That landed in Heritage Park. Two run shot to straight away center. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Tigers have cut the gap to three to two now. That one just kept going and going. You won't see many long balls hit farther than that this season. And as show track tells us, it carried a production. 160 feet. That's big boy territory. Batting, batting. The right viewer. Up next Number steps Kristen Stewart. Yes, yeah, he'll take a look at ball one. Pace is empty here with nobody out. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2-0. He may be down 2-0 after those first two pitches in this A-B, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. Too tight with that one. 3-0. Well, I'll tell you, from where I'm sitting, it looks like he's starting to rush his delivery out there. Someone needs to remind him to stay back and let his arm get out front. And this is nowhere close, and it's a four-pitch walk. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Digging in, Nico Goodrum. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Well, if you're looking for pop, he definitely has more pop, more home run potential hitting from the left side. This is his power side. Fouled off. Stewart gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. From the belt, kicks and deals. A bullet to first base, and they'll put the tag on him heading back to first. It's a double play. The third base. At the plate, Jimer Candelario. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Line toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. That's an obvious mistake on the pitcher's part. You speed him up with the first one, blow it right by him, and you do him a favor by giving him a changeup. I mean, that's a pitch he can handle right there. Standing in now, Victor Reyes. 
as he'll take a look at a high strike here on the outside corner it's 0 and 1. Hey I know the tying runs at first right here but if the pitcher on the mound executes keeps the ball in play I think good things are going to happen. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Weekly hit towards first. Right to him. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. The Tigers do get a couple, however, on this two run home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Indians three and the Tigers two. Into the box now, Domingo Santana. Lifetime numbers against Matt Boyd. He's just one for six. First offering on its way. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1-0. Oh. A ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. And now a pitch on the way. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. In now, Jordan Luplo. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Here's the 0 1. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Weak rounder back to the mound. Throw gets him. Two down. In now for Cleveland. Roberto Perez to try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. Hey, I got to really commend this pitcher right here. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in a dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. Indians go down one, two, three, and it remains a three, two ball game. Set to get underway. Digging in, Harold Castro. The designated hitter, Harold Castro. Here's the first pitch to him. Castro hits right handed pitching very well, makes a lot of contact, but he generally isn't known for displaying a lot of power. You'll see a lot of line drives and ground balls from him in these situations. 
Yeah, I almost think he has too good of hand-eye coordination, Matty. Sometimes maybe just attacks that pitch that's not there to do major damage with, but could just drive it up the middle the other way and take his knock, and that's what he's been able to do. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. The one-two. Misses for the second ball. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Hit down the third baseline. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. The first baseman. One gun here in the Detroit third, and that brings in Miguel Cabrera. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ooh, started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. A ball and a strike to Miguel Cabrera. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Even count two balls and two strikes. Outside and a full count, three and two. This one's flared off to the right side. Here comes the right fielder. He can't get there as it falls in. Hey, with two strikes right there, he's trying to run that ball up and in to try to time up, but it didn't quite work out. Yeah, in today's game, everybody's fighting so hard to keep their hands inside the baseball that I think. A non-executed pitch on the inner half, Dan, is exactly what the batter's looking for. Something he can keep his hands inside and just fist to the opposite field. Here's Jonathan Scope now, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. The 1-0. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. fouled away. One and two, here it comes. Cabrera stands at first with one out. And another foul ball. Has a look, now the pitch. I got to count two and two. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out on the mound. Get hard down the line. 
And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Long throw to third, and he's safe. Not really much the pitcher can do about that one. He put the ball down in the zone where he wanted it, but it was just a solid piece of hitting. Goes down and gets it and pulls it into the corner for extra bases. Yeah, as you know, Dan, sometimes the hitter just wins. At the plate, Cameron Maben. And he puts it on the ground to second. Scooped up. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Now that good job there to put the ball on the ground and pick up the tying run. This one has the makings of being a close game until the very end. So a man at third here with two gone. And up next, the catcher, Austin Romine. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. Lifted into center field. Mercado is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. And we are all tied at three apiece. Bottom of the third now. Ready now. Cesar Hernandez. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Here it comes. Slow roller down the third baseline. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. The center fielder, number 35. Oscar Mercado. Stepping up now, Oscar Mercado. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Reyes is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. At the plate, Francisco Lindor. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. The 0 1 pitch. Down and away, ball one. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Bases are empty here with two men out. All even now, two and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Tribe. We played three, and our score, 3-3. Three, three. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Leading off for Detroit. Now at the plate, the right Kristen field. Stewart. He'll start Number things 14. out here in a tie ball game. Fastball in there for a cold strike. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. 
Santana is there and he'll bring this one in. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Digging in for his second at bat, Nico Goodrum comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch on its way. Help 1 and 0. Goodrum. A native of Georgia, he was taken in the second round back in the 2010 first-year player draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. First home run of the campaign for him as they take the lead four to three. There's still some game left to be played, but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. batter Jamer Candelario as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1 it might be time for this guy to start mixing his pitches up a little bit better he's pitching poorly but you look at his first pitch strike percentage at over 70 percent this batting this team batting has a pretty good idea what his game plan is behind 0 and 2 now nothing in two count and the pitch Still no balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. Ready for Victor Reyes. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's the first pitch to him. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. And Four runs, six hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the Tigers. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And it's 2-1 and one to the Tigers' leadoff hitter. Now the pitch. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball in the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. One for the Tigers, and it comes on this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 4-3 Tigers. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with manager Terry Francona during the break about his thoughts on the Indians' hitters to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Here go. For the Indians, 
ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. So striding forward now, Fran Moraes. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Tough to lay off a breaking ball that good, but he saw it all the way. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Hit down the line at first, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. A swing and a ground ball to third, but a foul ball as it holds at two and two. Pitch on the way. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher but you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Lifted in the air out to right. Stewart is over a few steps toward the line and he has it for the first down. Now batting the first base baby. Ready to take his hacks again, Carlos Santana, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Most good breaking ball hitters will hit good breaking balls. In that last at-bat, that was a pretty good pitch that was down in the zone, and he handled it really nice. Hey, you think back to the early innings right there. You thought this guy would have been hitting his showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Santana will take the turn and head for second now. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Hey, that was eight straight up until that base hit right there. Let's see if the offense gets something rolling. Now. Into the box now, Jose Ramirez. And it's grounded just foul down the line. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. him up. Candelario has a play. Makes the play and there are two gone now. Now at the play, Domingo Santana as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First offering on its way. Here's a ball skied in the air near the line, back behind first, and Cabrera will make the catch to retire the side. One left for the tribe. Still down a run, it's 4 3. set for the start of the inning next for the Tigers Harold Castro he was a ground out victim last time up ready with the first pitch here it comes I'm sure he's frustrated by that call probably could have been a strike but at the same time 
earning strikes from the umpire is a real thing. If you've been all over the place like he has, you're just not going to get much help from the umpires. Runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 and now. And this is why he's struggling right here. He's not able to pound the strike zone early in the count. These guys are finding themselves in serious count leverage situations. And good hitters aren't going to miss. Two and one the count. Liner towards second. But an atom ball right to him for the first down. Now back the first base. Miguel Cabrera. So the base is empty here with one away. And that brings in Miguel Cabrera. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Bottom part of the zone and the slider is in there for a called strike. We're in the fifth inning of a four to three ball game here. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. And there's ball two now. Two and two the count. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will land untouched. Four runs, six hits, and no errors in the ball game for the Tigers. Line to the right side. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go figure. Into the box, Jonathan Scope. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Ball two. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. Because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage done. Three and oh now. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. Three and no count. Here it comes. Eight. High in the air out to center field. Mercado is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The center fielder, number four, Cameron Mabin. Standing in, Cameron Mabin, one for two in the ball game thus far. First pitch on its way. Ball one. Cabrera, the runner at first with two gone. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. On the stretch and this one's up around the eyes two and one a 
as a look now the pitch. Ball inside. Not definitely a fastball swing there, but a good time for the changeup. It's full three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Two out with the man at first. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Working for the punch out and the offering. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Digging in now, Austin Romine. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Racing back the center fielder. So a three-run shot to left center, his second home run of the game, as it is now 7-3. to three. Now here comes the Cleveland skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds. And he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. Adam Pletko is out from the bullpen now as he'll get the call here on opening day. Number 45, Adam Pletko. At the plate now, Kristen Stewart. Number 14. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. And there's the first strike, two and one. Pletko benefits from the fact that he throws a lot of strikes, doesn't walk many batters. However, there have been occasions where he's been hit around a bit. And that's one of the keys when you're managing a guy like this. If he's on, you're going to see him attack hitters. And when he's not, he's more prone to giving up base hits. So you have to have the bullpen ready if it's one of those days that he doesn't have it. And boy, the Tigers really have it going as that's good for extra bases as well. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Now, when it left his bat, I thought it might curve foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. To the plate now, Nico Goodrum. Out in front of it, strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. The 0-1 on its way. Nope. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Tiger shortstop with a ball and two strikes. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here.
The one two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The throw to the plate. But not in time as he's across with the run. Hey, that's not a bad first milestone. 100th career RBI, Nero. Yeah, after your first original knock, Dan, probably for you, your first strikeout, your first bomb, you want to start putting some zeros on the back end of these numbers. 100th ribby, nice milestone right there. Standing in now, Jimer Candelario. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner, it's ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. And he watches one miss outside, 2 0 now. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Put him away. Too high, and it's 3 and 0. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Four runs here in this half inning. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Now back, left fielder, Victor Reyes. Stepping into the box, Victor Reyes. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. Man, I know this feeling, how frustrated this hitter is right now. We used to have a saying in the dugout, don't be that guy. When everybody's getting hits, don't be the guy that takes the over. But you got to zone up. You can't be chasing. Behind 0-2 now. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. Man, that's a good take there on that 0-2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Two two pitches fouled away. the belt kicks and deals now that's popped up Hernandez over to his left and that's the third out but four runs score in the inning three coming right here on the three run home run bottom of the fifth coming up it's the Tigers eight and the Indians three striding into the box Jordan Luplo he's 0 for 1 thus far this one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. The one two. Takes this the other way to right. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first down. The catcher, Roberto Perez. Stepping in, Roberto Perez looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see. If he tries to cheat to something, this A.B. No balls and a strike to count. 
right there and it's quickly 0-2 now. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, man. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go Gretz bench. So now to the plate, Cesar Hernandez. He'll swing and lift a ball fouled off to the left and out of play. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Now the 0 1. Two out, nobody on. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Hit to third. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Tigers eight and the Indians three. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Ready for another shot now. Harold Castro. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. And he can't get out of the way there, so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Wow, I'm not sure if he was looking past this guy to the slugger coming up or just lost focus. But now the big bat steps to the plate with a great RBI opportunity. And that'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Count one and oh. Castro on at first, nobody out. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Now this is on the ground to first. We'll see if they can get two. There's one. Back to first, and that'll take care of Cabrera. It's a double play. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jonathan Scope. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, and that, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. Here's the first pitch to him. And that fastball's taken, but catches the outer third. Bases are empty here with two men out. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. 0-2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Fouled away. Thank you. 
hit weakly back to the mound. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Tigers are shut down there, but they lead it by a count of eight to three. Stepping into the box, Oscar Mercado, 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Some action now in the Tigers' bullpen as they'll get a left-hander and a right-hander up to throw. The wind-up and the 0-1. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now the 1 0. Skied into straightaway right. Stewart is there. Two down. Now back the designated hitter. Not me. Digging in once again, Fran Moraes. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it with this guy's big power. The first pitch is hit pretty well out to right. A leap, but this is out of reach and off the wall. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Well, that's his second double of the game, and I thought it might have enough to get out of here. Banged it off the wall, and he's looking really good in this one. So now Carlos Santana. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. to the at bat on its way the fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one one and oh from the belt the pitch line drive to left that's in there base hit and they're going to hold that runner at third base as even with two away they didn't like their chances there Dan, with that single, he's now three-quarters of the way to hitting for the cycle. Toughest one still on the shelf, though. He's got to get a triple. Yeah, that dude said it, Dero. That's one of those that's either got to hit right down the line or one of those tweeners in the gap. He has enough speed, so if he can find a gap or find one down the line, maybe he can do it, and he was going to at least get one more at bat in this one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Curveball knocked down at home plate. Runners will stay put. However, the count evens at one. Runners on first and third, two away. Two and one to Jose Ramirez. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base.
looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Indians strand a couple. Can't make any headway into an 8-3 deficit. Seventh inning ready to roll. Digging in to try it again. Cameron Maben. He's one for two in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now some movement in the tribe bullpen as a right-hander starts to loosen up. The windup and the 0-1. A bouncer up the middle. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now that catch it off the Roman. Austin Romine will stand in again as he looks for home run number three in the ball game. as we flash you back here to his second home run. This was back in the fifth inning as he has the long ball working in his first few at-bats. And now a pitch on the way. One out, nobody on. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. He's having a great day at the dish. His timing is spot on. This pitching staff's going to have to find a different way of attacking him. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Really now good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. In now, Kristen Stewart. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. off this one down and in for ball two. Hit back up the middle. Throw in the dirt but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Down in order go the Tigers but they lead it by a count of eight to three. Garcia is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. Number 51, Roni Garcia. Last half of the seventh here. Now with the plate, Domingo Santana. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball. You need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. On, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0 oh, and 2. Fly ball right down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. The next 0 2. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. The one two. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. 
Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. And with strike three recorded there, he's notched his first career right, major Double league eight. strikeout. Well, Matt, if he can become a consistent strikeout pitcher, you have to figure his career is going to end up being a solid one. All the best pitchers at this level have at least one pitch that they can go into in tough situations. So we'll see if he becomes one of those guys as his career goes along. Now at the plate, Jordan Luplo, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Bases are empty, one man out. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Ball three. three and one. Hey, doubled up on breaking balls there outside. Now might be the time to bust that fastball in. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. There's ball four. It's all a part of learning how to pitch in the big leagues. Major League hitters will not bail you out by swinging at pitches out of the zone. So he's going to have to continue to learn how to get guys out at this level. In now, Roberto Perez. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matt. He got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1 0 is swung on and missed, strike one. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. Fouled off. The one two. I got to tell two and two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. In a double play situation, you kind of expect no most Number pitches seven. to be down in the zone, the hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting third pitch selection yet. to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Stepping in now, Cesar Hernandez. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0 and 2. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. Count is one and two now. Pitch is popped up. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. To two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Pulled high in the air out to right field. 
Long run for the right fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Indians leave one. Can't make any headway into an 8-3 deficit. Nick Whitgren is out from the bullpen now as he'll get the call here on opening day. Number 62, Nick Whitgren. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Nico Goodrum. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Where this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And it's fouled away. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Now another one-two. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third, and no swing. It's ball two. Here now the two-two. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. Into the box now, Jimer Candelario. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. to lay off there as the fastball misses it's one and two now hey I get it he wants to set up that breaking ball down and away but that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close looking for the strikeout here's the one two he started this guy backwards couple of off speed pitches early followed by back to back heaters he can go either way he wants to go right now and he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. To the plate now, Victor Reyes. As he runs up to bunt but can't make contact, that's strike one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. The wind up and the 0 1. Down the first baseline, but this will get foul for strike two. Hit softly on the ground to third. He's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Detroit is out in front, eight to three. John Schreiber is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. John Schreiber. 
Now in the box, Oscar Mercado. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. The better fielder. Oscar Mercado. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Liner towards second. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Up next for Cleveland. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. Taken high and deep to right. Going back is the right fielder to the track. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. Francisco Lindor connects for a two-run home run. First home run of the campaign for him as it's now an 8-5 to five ball game. I can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues, but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got, a really bad result. The into the box, Fran Reyes. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Schreiber, a right-hander standing six foot three, he was selected in the 15th round back in the 2016 first-year player draft. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Digging in and looking for more, Carlos Santana. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Here's the first pitch to him. A ball and no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Santana in front with a 2 0 count. Pitching isn't always about getting everyone out. Sometimes it's about being smart and knowing when to pick your battles. He's been really careful with this hitter so far, and rightfully so. He's set, and the 2 0 pitch. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Here's a fly ball well hit. Right fielder looking up at the track, the wall. And that one is gone. Oye Como va. It's a solo home run for Carlos Santana. His second of the game as they cut it to an 8-6 ball game. The sixth home run we've watched leave the yard in this one. Guys, what do you think's behind the hitting we've seen here today? Dan, I can only speak from my own past experiences. When the flags are blowing out, you want as many at-bats as you can, and that's exactly what's happening. This ball's jumping. You know, D-Row, this is always a nightmare for a pitcher. Not only is this a good hitting ballpark, but the wind blows out on top of it. This is the last place you want to be a pitcher at. Buck Farmer is out from the bullpen now as he'll get the call here on opening day. Blake now, Jose Ramirez. Third baseman. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The 1 0. Misses ball two. Two balls, no strike.
2 0 count the pitch. Still only one out in the inning. A little early and now it's even at two and two. I know he fouled that pitch off right there but he was definitely out in front. He was cheating to a heater no question about it. And this misses so that'll fill the count at three and two. When you're playing close games like this base runners mean everything so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he'll step on first himself for the out. So striding in, Domingo Santana, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Two out, nobody on. Seared down the first baseline. Oh, and he can't come up with it. He'll flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. We've played eight full. It's the Tigers eight and the Indians six. Dominic Leone enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. At the plate now is the designated hitter, Harold Castro. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. And this is just off the outside corner ball two. Fastball is in there. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Danger looms on deck here in the person of Miguel Cabrera. The three and one pitch. Shot toward right center. And a great start to the ninth as this ought to be extra bases. And big trouble as this gets to the wall now. You could tell he was thinking fastball all the way here, and that's exactly what he got. He was able to get the bat head out front and pull it into the gap in the right center. Now they're set up pretty nicely for a good inning after that leadoff double. First baseman Miguel Cabrera stands in. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. The 0-1. Oh, he looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0-2 oh, now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam. Sandwich. Rounded back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first in time. One away. Now back. Second base. Jonathan. Go. So a big spot here in stepping in. Jonathan Scope. Although there are a couple of bases open. And we'll see if they think about working around him. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. The offensive approach here is simple. You know the pitcher's going for the K, so set your sights middle of the plate. And then don't worry about the infielders. And a slider is way low, but a good job there to knock this one down. Castro stands at third with one gun in the inning. One and two as he chases the slider. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked 
I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heated. The one two. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw will get him for the second out, but meanwhile, the run is in to score from third. But one's all they get as the run scores. Good manufactured run right there. Lead off double, move him over with the ground ball, and just put the ball in play and let him come home. Make scoring runs look easier than it actually is. He's set. Here it comes. Cameron Maben stands in as he looks at a called strike. Here's a cutter that's off the plate, one and one. Open your eyes, Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball called strike, one and two. One ball, two strikes. Ball two. Two and two. The two two is looked at and the count moves full. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. So one run here, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We'll see eight, nine, and one due up in the bottom of inning number nine. The Tigers lead it nine to six. Joe Jimenez is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Joe Jimenez. Coming to the plate now, Jordan Luplo. He'll be the one to get us going here in the bottom of inning number nine. Eight, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got... High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here it comes. Boom. And think game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Hit high and deep to right center. Right fielder giving chase. But it's over his head and it hops the wall for a ground rule double. Well, that will bring a smile to a manager's face every single time. First hitter of the inning just squares it up and bounces it over the fence. Even if it stays in the yard, that's a double either way. Standing in, Roberto Perez. Lifetime versus this arm. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. From the stretch. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Here comes the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to 1-2. and two. A runner at second. Nobody out. They'll strike out here yet again as it's been a ball game to forget thus far four strikeouts. Come 
So the batting order turns over now and set to go Cesar Hernandez. And he's got to get on base any way he can with that possible tying run behind him in the on deck circle. First pitch of the at bat on its way. You'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. You know, in this situation, you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base. That run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got. The hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head. Now the 1-0 is looked at for ball number two. First baseline and a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Throw into second, but he'll get in there with an RBI double. All right, here we go, making things interesting with an RBI knock to cut the deficit to two. Maybe we can get this offense going. to the plate Oscar Mercado as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one he's working on a one for three thus far fastball got him to swing through it it's one and one I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down he's awfully tardy right now the ball and two strikes One and two pitch. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Three and two to the Indian center fielder. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Maven comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. Now batting, stop. So digging in now, Francisco Lindor for his career in this matchup. He's just one for six. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hernandez stands at second with two gone. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. The two one home. Last strike now for Cleveland. Ball three. Three and two now. Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate. In a one-run game, he doesn't want to walk you, so there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. This is line to left. But this is taken in as a perfect metaphor to end this one as that ball was hit hard, but the ball game is over. Yeah, he does surrender one run, so it wasn't a flawless performance. But in this game, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to be good enough to win, 
He was. Nine to seven, the final score in this ballgame. Detroit took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Matthew Boyd gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Shane Bieber was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. Joe Jimenez earns the save out of the bullpen his first of the year. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time.